In this episode, we will be discussing who is responsible for bed bugs. The first thing to discuss is the signs of bed bugs. Blood stains on sheets, dark or rusty spots of bed bug waste appearing on mattresses, bedding, clothing, and walls, or tiny bed bug fecal matter, shells, and even shedding skins accompanied by a musty smell or foul odor usually means there is a bed bug infestation. Evidence of bed bug bites may also appear on human skin, such as large or even several small red blotches that itch. As far as removing the bed bugs, the rental property must be made free of clutter, vacuumed and cleaned, including the clothing, bedding, etc., before being treated with any pesticides by a licensed exterminator. Failing to use a licensed exterminator may lead to a quick reinfestation and additional liability which could have easily been avoided. As far as the financial responsibility, as a general rule, the landlord is responsible for providing habitable housing free of pests. So unless there is evidence the tenant was the source of the infestation, the landlord must pay. However, if the current tenant was shown to be responsible for the infestation, the landlord should still oversee the removal of the bed bugs and hire a licensed exterminator, but have the tenant build instead. As far as any state laws or legislation, there are only five states, Arizona, California, Florida, Nebraska, and New Hampshire, that specifically address bed bugs and rental property. For those states without legislation, it's a common practice for the person or entity responsible for the infestation to pay for the cost of an exterminator but the landlord should still oversee the removal process.